be a beginner's makeup, beginner's full face glamified. Like I'm talking glam makeup. You know, so yeah, this is the look that I'm doing today. And I'm using all the products that I showed you in my video yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but it was for yesterday, but it was uploaded like really, really early this morning. So yeah, sorry about that. I'll show you how to get this full glam look using all drugstore products. And it's very, very affordable. The products that I'm using are, I will leave them all, they're all listed in my, um, haul video from yesterday so the second video of the seven days of K that is the haul video of all the products that I'm using in this tutorial I will also include in that list in the other video um, products that I used today that I did not include in yesterday's video so that was a lot <laughs> but yeah I'll include all the products that I used in today's video in yesterday's video so I'm just gonna go and update that so if you're interested in how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. So, alright, so I'm going to first start off by priming using my um, e.l.f. eyelid primer. I'm going to prime my brows and also my eyes. I just did my um, brows. I just cleaned them up earlier. And I have a tutorial on that if you are interested. So I painted my room last night and I painted the window, I, I had the windows open to like, you know, ventilate the room and I had painted the window and I painted the window open and it's freezing cold and I'm like so cold right now it's not even funny, like I can't get the window to close. So yeah, I'm like freezing, <laughs> it's really, I'm really, really annoyed right now. So I'm taking my Jordana Fabi Brow Pencil in the color Dark Brown. I'm going to start by outlining the bottom of the brow. Top. And arch. Just filling it in a little bit. I love this color. Alright. <clears throat> now I'm just going to extend the end of the eyebrow, the tail of the eyebrow. And I'm going to stick in the arch. Now I'm just going to blend out the inner part of the brow because we don't want no sharpie looking eyebrows because that's not cute. I'm gonna brush it up a little bit and just really diffuse that, this front brow part. All right? And then, you know, you can just brush the product evenly throughout the eyebrow. So now that the eyebrow is looking a little crazy, <laughs> I'm gonna take my LA Pro Conceal in the color Cool Tan just to clean up the brow. And you guys, you guys have seen this before plenty of times and I'm just gonna start cleaning up the brow I'm in this like weird phase where my brows are just coming out so terrible every time I do them I don't know what what I'm doing wrong I'm never just too, thinking too deep into it <laughs> so I like to sometimes take like a smaller brush um, sometimes it's even like a lip brush that I'll take to clean up the top part of the brow. And now I'm just going to blend that out. perfect it a little bit and then I'm going to come back to do the eyes so what I typically like to do is just take the rest of the concealer that's on that I've um used for my brows and just put it on my lids and I do that every day um but I also do put a eyeshadow base on um with it but I'm not going to do that today because that's not really necessary it's not necessary I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. I 
I have come to the conclusion that I hate eyebrow pencils. I don't know how. It's not that I know I don't know how to use them. I just feel like I get a better application when I use a dip brow. That that Jordana Fabby brow pencil is actually really nice. So if you do like brow pencils, then that one is definitely a good choice. It's not a bad pencil at all. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Color Icon Shadow in the color Brulee to just set my concealer into place on my lids. And I do this every day. This color is very similar to White Chocolate from the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Bar Palette. And I love that color. I use it like legit every day. So this is definitely a nice color. I may start using this one instead. And it's only a dollar and nine cents, I believe. So yeah, you can definitely check this out. It's a nice color if you want to just like put it on your lids, on your lids and just keep it moving. It's one of those kinds of colors. It's a nice matte color. You can even use it to highlight the brow bone or use it as kind of like a filter color. I'm actually going to start this look off very differently today. Something I never really do, but we're just going to, you know, go with it. So I'm taking this, the middle brown color, and this is from the um, Wet n Wild I'm Getting Sunburned Palette, um, <laughs> Trio Palette. I'm taking this middle brown color right here, and I'm going to apply that to the crease. So I never, I feel like I never start out with the crease, but um, the tr our transition color was that brulee. So yeah, we're just going to go on with this. And we're going to really lightly take this into the crease and just shadow it, kind of. And this comes out so much darker than what I imagined it would. But then again, I could just need to clean my brushes. <laughs> so we're just going to go circle this back and forth into the crease just building it up as we go along and I love this brush and this this brush is a Sedona lace um it's a A53 brush from Sedona lace and it's a really great brush for this I love this brush sometimes I use it to contour my nose see how it just blends that color out so nicely I love it love 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 I'm gonna go back into that brulee color and just diffuse just above this right in here like the transition area to make it very nice and soft I filmed this look a little bit earlier and um, I had started it but I had to go out so I had to like take wipe my makeup off and redo it so um, I kind of got to see firsthand how the shadows go onto the lid and I'm not really that impressed. Like they're nice, but they're not they're not freaking Morphe shadows. They're not. So um I am going to just take a little bit of this e.l.f. glitter primer and put it onto the lid beforehand. You can get this um either on the e.l.f. website. Sometimes you can find it at the dollar store. It's only a dollar and it just it's a great base for colors that are kind of glittery. So I'm just gonna put that on. Um to really intensify intensify this next color that we're putting on I'm just blending that out with a smudger brush but you can use any brush you can even use your finger to do this part just wanted a small brush to, to do this with and make sure you take any glitter that gets on your your eyelashes off because they'll get kind of crusty and that's annoying taking this gold color that's in that same palette and just packing that on the lid. You see how that just really intensifies it? If you don't have the glitter primer, you can use water or some Fix Plus spray or some setting spray. That will work just the same. Or even eye drops. Alright, so we're going to go back with a little bit of that crease color just to blend it out. Not really using a whole bunch of it, but I just want to blend this out before we apply any other colors to the lid. Alright, so I'm going to mix some of that, um, the crease color and a little bit of the gold, the gold lid color together. And I'm going to start placing that on the outer corner and the inner corner. creating like a sandwich a sandwich eye look <laughs> and this is a little bit 
this is definitely um, a little bit extra but it's so easy all you have to do is just blend and know when you're putting enough shadow it's so easy though See? and that's so pretty hopefully it's focusing sorry if it's not I'm just gonna clean up um, using a wet wipe Panther and that's also a wet and mild color icon shadow it's a kind of like gunmetal gray color almost a black and I'm gonna take that to just further smoke out the eye and add some definition I honestly feel like this takes your eye look to like a next level makes it look a little bit more professional and whatnot so I'm just going to take this on the outer corner and just really just start Building it up, defining the crease a little bit more. I'm going to take that just a little bit right in here. I don't want it to get right in here because it's going to make the look look a little bit muddy and I don't want that. So I'm keeping it right here in this nook. <laughs> Go ahead and blend again with brulee. I'm not really going to take a lot of extra product on my brush. Just some to blend everything together. For liner, I'm using my NYC liquid liner, and I forgot to mention this in my two in my um haul video yesterday. But this liner is about three bucks, maybe two, three bucks, depending on where you find it at. Super cheap liner, best liner out there, honestly. And it's amazing balls. <laughs> I have a wing liner tutorial. If you want to look that up, it's a little more detailed and it's always linked below in my videos. So now that we have our wing liner on, I can kind of see how the look is going to turn out. And I see that I want to add just a little bit more of my brown crease color just to blend the gold out a little bit. Um, I've done both eyes. Both eyes are on. And now I'm going to move on to faces. First, I'm going to fill my pores using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. With this, you want to pat it into the skin. It has a very silicone-y feel to it. You want to pat this into the skin instead of rubbing it. Well, it's not really going to do much. So I'm just going to let that sit and kind of soak in for about two minutes. And then I'm going to put the rest of my primers on. <laughs> so for the rest of the face, I'm going to use the Nivea Men's Post Shape Balm. And with this, you don't need a lot at all. That's the trick. You don't need a lot. Legit like a penny size. Because the more you put on the... the longer it's going to take to dry and it's not going to get tacky enough for when you put your foundation on. It should feel kind of sticky and if you're really extra like me and you have oily skin I love to take the number seven beautifully matte makeup base that in my t-zone nothing too serious So I am going to color correct using my LA Pro Conceal and I don't know if I said this. You can find this on the Walgreens website. Just making, you know, making sure that you guys are aware of that. You can find this on the website, not in the store. Or you can just go to your beauty supply store and get this. The L any of the LA Pro concealers. These things are like the bomb. I've used them as foundations on my client clients before I use these like pretty much every day and they're very 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 affordable great coverage beautiful concealers I don't know if you guys can see but I painted my room I stayed up till like two o'clock in the morning last night um bet that between painting my room and editing yesterday's video which actually went up Real, 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 real super early this morning. <laughs> Sorry about that. It, this It's actually qu quite difficult to upload every day. 
So for the YouTubers that upload every day, I really, 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 really like admire you. That's really cool. In the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the color C97. Uh, if I can get it open. I'm just gonna set that concealer into place using my face powder. Today I'm using the um, Wet and No. I'm using the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation in the color Caramel. I'm blending this in with a e.l.f. Flat Top Kabuki Brush. This is absolutely my favorite foundation. You guys know that already. <laughs> I think I've said that in the past couple tutorials that I've done. Talked about this foundation. It's the best. Honestly. So I'm going to use that same True Match powder to set the foundation into place. Just lock it so it won't budge, won't move, and that it will and it will last longer. It's going to last all day. It's so funny because when I do my clients, I have some of them that will say that they, they'll wear the makeup the next day. And it looks nice. <laughs> so if you have color corrected and all that, you've done all that right, then your foundation should come out so much more evenly. I love this foundation. It's so pretty. You guys, I absolutely dread getting up to go wet my beauty blender. <laughs> I hate doing it. <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't like when I set my powder in my mask and I put my mascara on. And sometimes it gets in my powder that's annoying. So I'm just going to put my mascara on now. And I'm using the... Um, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It's just a basic mascara that I really like to use. It's bl very black and yeah. <laughs> if you don't like wearing lashes, you can take this time out to, you know, really build up your lashes and do your lash routine. Yeah, I'm just putting a simple coat of mascara on my highlighting and contouring. And that is also optional. But this is a full face glammed out, glammed out look that we're doing here. It can be used for prom makeup. If you want to, if you want to do your own makeup for prom, that's cool. Do you, girl. I applaud you. I did my own makeup for prom. And that was fun. So do it. You'll save a heck of a lot of money. And then the products that you use that you use to do your makeup with for prom day, you can also use it as every, you know, like everyday makeup or special occasion makeup. You'll have it, you know, just to use and you know, yeah. So I did do a, I did do like a swatch and haul video on my channel of all the products that I use today. Um, so make sure you go and watch that video. I'm not going to list everything that I use in this video because it's already listed in that video. I have to go do that after I finish um, recording this, so yeah. <laughs> so make sure you guys go check that video out, give it a like, and share it with a friend. This one too. <laughs> I am using my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer mixed with some of my LA Pro Conceal. Just to highlight, I'm using my um, Real Techniques sponge to blend this out. I love this sponge. It's almost, it's probably like better than the real actual beauty blender because it just fits right up into the crevices and it has this little, um, I love the way that it's shaped and it's so soft. my concealer I'm using the airspun translucent powder in the translucent extra full coverage form Eula using the same sponge I like 
gonna let that sit and bake for about five minutes so then I'm going to come back and show you the rest of the face so I can't even count how many times I turn my camera on and off but anyway so I'm gonna wipe that powder away using my um true match powder one more time just gonna knock all this powder off and blend it blend everything together Right about now I would usually bronze but we're gonna skip that step today and just go right to contouring and I'm using my black radiance um, rich mahogany powder I haven't used this in such a long time for blush I'm using that um, wet and mob blush it's a color icon blush I'm not sure of the color um, name but I'll try and find it and put it in the description box um, of my um, previous video such a pretty color I love this one thing that I forgot to get was um, some rose water and I use that kind of like a fix plus um, but I'm gonna use my um, Smashbox photo finish primer water in place of that sorry that it's not drugstore but you can get um rose water and mix it with a little bit of glycerin and distilled water and that's going to make a kind of like a fix plus setting spray type dupe so you can do that for bronzer i'm taking the milani i mean not not bronzer for highlight i'm taking the milani fantastic face and body bro and body big bronzer in the color fantastic in gold my lips burn and I have no idea what it is I'm going to apply the wet and mild color icon cool eyeliner in the color calling your bluff <laughs> and it's a nude color I'm putting that in the waterline I'm calling your bluff you're bluffing that highlight though yes. I'm gonna be so mad if my camera dies on me Gonna apply some mascara to my lower lashes. I legit don't have a drugstore lip liner. I only use MAC ones. Because I don't really use lip liners that often. So um I don't know if this is drugstore, but it's the Palladio lip pencil in the color cinnamon I see this all all the time and you can get this from a beauty supply I do not look like little Kim stop <laughs> you're terrible I don't look light stop <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. So my camera died, so I put my lashes on, put my lips on, but I did go and eat. I went eight I went and ate and took boo out. So yeah. Um and it got dark outside in the process. So um anyway, I'm gonna put the I have to reapply my lip. So um I'm using the Wet n Wild um, matte lipstick in the color Bear It All. So yeah, I love this lip, it's so pretty. The lashes that I used were the Kiss True Volume Lashes and the Style Posh. And they're really nice and natural. I'll zoom in so you can see them. Um, I just threw some mascara on my bottom lashes and that's pretty much it. I'm going to set the face using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I love this stuff. And this is the finished look. 
it's very nice and dewy super glam full face makeup tutorial using all drugstore products and I think it's very pretty I'm in love with this highlighter I will definitely be using this more often so pretty <laughs> these videos have been so fun to do I have been really um it's really challenging putting up a video um once every day because I have to record it and then edit it and upload it in the same day so that's kind of hard to do that's why the videos go up so late at night so um yeah I actually am going away for my birthday this weekend so my birthday get ready with me makeup will either be put up that night or the next day um so yeah I'll try and get that up as soon as um I can so if you guys have any suggestions for any videos um, for next week, you can leave them below, and yeah, I will, I will do those. So thank you guys for watching the third video of the Seven Days of K. Um, I'm really enjoying doing this. I hope that you are enjoying um, the videos. Hope that you can, you know, get something, learn something new from them, and see just different. I don't know. I guess different things. <laughs> um. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure you like it, share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. I love you guys so much, and I will see you later. Bye, Sparklets.